Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here today on automation, not building a car. No, we are going to be trying to build the world's fastest lawnmower. Yes, there is a mod that adds a lawnmower style body to the game and naturally I'm going to see how fast we can make it. I think it's about 113, 119 miles an hour, something like that was the Honda uh, lawnmower that does currently hold the world record and we're going to go try and beat it. Uh, now, the engine of course is the big deal with this. The chassis does look a little bit weird to begin with, don't worry, it will kind of sort itself out once you get a little further through the building process. Uh, I think fiberglass would probably make sense. Uh, chassis, I'm gonna go, maybe we go sort of a monocoque? We'll go for a full-on, full-on, full-on monocoque on our, <laughs> on our lawnmower. I think it should be a better chassis. It might be expensive. It's not really being built sensibly. Okay, it's not being built sensibly. Ooh, let's go for really light and basic it doesn't need to be much more technical. The engine placement, this is going to be the fun part, because as you can imagine, uh, there's not much real space for a lawnmower. Uh, there's, there's not much real space for an engine in here, so <laughs> we're going to have to be a little bit careful. I think if you go double wishbone, it's very difficult to get anything uh, into the uh, into the engine bay because of the well, yeah, the spaces. So, going McPherson, straight at the front. And at the back, we can have whatever we want. So, we can go for a double wishbone. Sure. And then it is time for the engine. Apparently, there is a way to get V6s in here. Um, they'd have to be a very, very tiny V6. I'm going to stick with an inline engine. I think an inline four is probably going to be the best way to go. Because we start going up to, you know, a five, sure, it's great and everything, but it's very long. And that's not necessarily what you want from. <laughs> from, well, from your vehicle. So we're going to go for, how big an engine can we get into this? Uh, we can get about a 1.3 litre. Now what I might be tempted to do is just put that down a little bit. Go for a 1.3 litre I4. Now it might have to get changed because some of the other bits we put on might end up putting it, you know, slightly longer or whatever. So we may have to go and make it a little bit smaller. For now, this will this will do. Now we're wanting to make the fastest, so we are going to be wanting a fairly decent sort of an engine. I think we'll go for all aluminium. Uh, we're going to try and make it light uh, without. Well, we're going to make it light without going, you know, insanely, insanely expensive. We'll sort of yeah, see how it goes. We're probably not going to need. We're going to probably want better than that because I'm probably going to rev it a bit further. Uh, but we're probably not going to be needing the full on. You know, we're not going to be needing crazy titanium and all of that sort of stuff for for the engine. Uh, we're probably not going to be using it. Uh, sure, we'll go with variable valve timing. Now, can we fit a turbo on it? That is the question. Uh, the engine is very, very full, but is still... is not. That's not gone red. That's gone red, but other stuff hasn't gone red. Might work. Direct injection, sure, we'll go with performance intake, that does still all fit within the, we'll make it sort of normal, obtainable fuel on here, and then we will have, sure, I don't actually know how much power we're going to get out of it, I mean, it doesn't need to be road legal, does it, that's not, <laughs> it's not a, the world's fastest road legal lawnmower, that's not an important thing. Okay, let's go and give it some more. Uh, RPM, where was it, it's in fuel systems, isn't it? There we go. Right, let's try and get it up to about, well, maybe we'll get it to 9,000. I don't know if we'll quite get it that far. Let's sort out the compression so that <laughs> it doesn't uh, knock itself to pieces. Uh, we might be, well, we might go and just turn that down a little bit. 8,500 is still quite a lot. Uh, so we're currently looking at about 185 horsepower, which is not bad. In fact, we can go quite mad with the horsepower if we want. Go quite extreme with the old uh, cam profiles and we're up to 266 horsepower. This is about as much power as I have in my actual car. <laughs> I have a twin turbo V6 in my actual car and this is not far off. Admittedly, it's quite bonkers in a lawnmower, of course. I mean, the power to weight ratio is going to be immense. <laughs> power to weight ratio is going to be scary in fact, in this. 
271 horsepower from our vehicle. We can keep going up with that a little bit. Oh, we can keep keep going. I've not even played around with the turbos too much, although I'm not great at messing around with the turbos. I tend to end up making it a little bit worse, if anything. Uh, I'll try to make it a little bit easier to use power band, but it's, it's never going to be great. The turbos on this game do tend to be... They, they tend to come as extreme as you like. They do they do tend to be pretty mad. Uh, it's, it is it's not impossible, but it is more difficult to get smooth power bands with turbos on here. Uh, so I'm kind of okay with, you know... Oh, uh, oh, so if we go with more quality, and then... Hold on, let's just try something. Do we... Because I'm... I, Again, I'm not really fussed about price, but I also don't want to just, you know, quality slider spam it entirely. However, 300 horsepower is a nice round number for all of this. So I think 300 horsepower sounds like a good amount. 300 horsepower, I mean, it's not going to have no, no real go down here, but it's fine. We'll just keep it above that bit. <laughs> it'll, it'll all be it'll all be good. Oh, we can actually make the... Oh, if we make the compressor bigger, though, we then have more difficult to use power. You know what, we're just going to leave it there, give it a test, see what the... Oh, actually, intercooler can be... I can make the intercooler bigger, that's not a problem. <laughs> that's an easy bit to do. No real downsides to that. Right, anyway, let's have a listen. That is an angry lawnmower. That is definitely one hell of an angry lawnmower. I like it! Uh, 313 horsepower from our engine. Should be more than enough to see this go very, very quickly. There we go, now the chassis will fix itself. Uh, the engine is... I don't actually know if it appears in... I don't think you can actually see the engine when you're building it in here, uh, because it is a little bit of a... Uh, you, know, you can see how the chassis gets sort of squished together to fit the body. It, you know what? Don't worry too much about it, after all. Oh, we can have a... We can have a long nose if we want, or we can have a... <laughs> oh, there's a little bit of moving around of stuff, if you so desire. Uh, sure, that will work for me. Of course, colours. It's got to be lovely in orange. This is a Ferrari's Motorsports Department vehicle, so it's got to be lovely in orange. Um, lights. There's a lot of new f a lot of new fixtures since I last played this game. Not just new designs, like these terrifying spider-eye-looking things. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can make a terrifying lawnmower out of them. Uh, but there's lots of like new different patterns for headlights. So yeah, these are the same same headlights as the terrifying spider eyes, but now they actually work oh I say they work okay. Or then you can go for uh, for these sort of ones. There's a lot more I know you, there was let's say there was, you could change uh, bits and pieces uh, with the you know, down here, you could change bits and pieces uh, previously, but now this is sort of a lot more preset stuff, if you like. What the hell are those? Uh, <laughs> I, I have to say, they work better than I was expecting. I put them on the car, on the car, the mower as a joke, and they actually turned out to be better than I was expecting them to be. Uh, we'll go for, perhaps, we'll go for some of these, though. I quite like them on our mower. Now, Cooling? I know it's not technically a thing that we have to do on this game. I feel like we should probably get some sort of cooling on, <laughs> on this machine. It's pretty... I mean, it's, it's pretty bonkers, uh, to say the least. Can we get those... bring them to the front. Uh, can we get that grill to sit in behind there? We should be able to if I can oh, match the sizes up and everything correctly. And there we go. Now, we'll probably have one more probably go for one more grill, maybe down here. We could have a happy looking, <laughs> terrified, terrifying, happy looking lawnmower. <laughs> it's not a sight you want to see coming towards you. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's got to stay. It's got to stay. I'm not doing this sensibly anymore. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> the sound that this is going to make, coupled with that face. That's, yeah, what more could you ask for? What more could you ask for from your lawnmower. Ooh, can we go for a mighty wing? Is that what I think that is? <gasps> There's proper... You can have, like, proper whale tails. Yes! I want a whale tail on my lawnmower. There is an important reason for all of this, and I'm not sure what it is, but there is an important reason, so I've got it now. Uh, 
<laughs> Can we have a break? This has gone a little bit more downhill than I had intended on. More downhill than normal, but there we go. Ah, oh, you can't put them on the... I was going to have them down on there, because I don't think I can... Okay, there's no brake lights. Uh, we're not going to need brake lights, are we? Who's going to need to know that we're slowing down in this thing? <laughs> still good. Still funny. Still still quite funny at the front there. Um, oh, there's new exhaust tips for this, which is cool. If you want your side exit exhaust, again... It's not going to be ideal for what we are building here. This is not this is not really the vehicle to show off all of the new features. However, it is the vehicle that I want to be building today. Uh, let's go and give it the good old Fail Race Motorsport badge on the front for a nose. Uh, <laughs> we get oh, there, there are more mirrors. You're probably going to want to be able to see what's behind you. Should we go for like some ultra sleek aerodynamic mirrors? Say so ultra sleek aerodynamic mirrors. I don't know, kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, wheels, wheels, wheels. We can change. I think there are more of these as well. There's certainly been, yeah, there's certainly been a decent amount of uh, kind of updates and new stuff to play around with on here. If you haven't uh, checked the game out for a little while, so I, the, I think so, most of these were around before. But yeah, there is more stuff. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go with them. Let's go with them. Uh, we're not going to need a number plate on this, of course. It's not going to be road legal, not in the slightest. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it for this sort of this sort of stuff. It doesn't need door handles or <laughs> any of that. Just just climb in. Perfect. It's a silly, silly lawnmower. Now, sensibly, you'd make this all-wheel drive. I'm not being sensible here. We're going to go rear-wheel drive. We'll go with a nice manual gearbox, six-speed gearbox. Estimated top speed, 157 miles an hour. Yes, that is what we want to see. We are going to want a limited slip diff on here. We are definitely going to... I want to do 150 miles an hour. Might not quite get 157. It would be fun too, but we're probably not going to. Uh, we will go semi-slicks because I'm probably going to want the grip. I don't know what the tyres are going to be like. Whoa, we can get big tyres. Look at them. <laughs> Okay, maybe not quite that larger of tyres. I, I don't know how it works, actually, in terms of the simulation. I guess, theoretically, the bigger tyres would give you a little bit more rolling resistance um, in terms of, you know, trying to get to a speed run. you got to want traction, naturally. I've got to go for some decent-sized tyres at the rear. I think I'd rather have this thing understeering than oversteering. I think this oversteering is going to have a recipe for twitchy death, basically. And twitchy death is not necessarily what you want. Should we go for some bigger wheels? Uh, the reason I go for bigger wheels, actually, is an important reason, um, is brakes. Because at 10, are they 10 inch wheels, that would be very, very tiny brakes. And I kind of want big brakes on this, I'm not going to lie. You're doing 150 miles an hour. Oh, the engine, it does go in there. There we go. The engine does appear in there. I hadn't gone far enough through the thing. So you can actually see the engine uh, fitting inside the chassis. Just. The only just. Uh, <laughs> Right, brakes. Please, big brakes. Can we go for some big, big, massive brakes? Uh, they're going to be quite required. I mean, the rear brakes are slightly less important in terms of size. Uh, you know, most of the braking down at the front. However, it's still going to need, still going to need a fair amount of stopping. Uh, we will then. Oh, uh, there is a kit. I don't know whether you heard that. Zeke uh, jumped on the windowsill and or jumped on the windowsill and Cass was asleep on the windowsill and got the scare of his life. Uh, <laughs> Seek your twat. Uh, <laughs> right. Anyway, I digress. Coolio, we're gonna want this, get some brake airflow because I don't want to cook my brakes on here. We'll leave the wing stuff. Not too fussed about any of this. I'll be honest. Now, technically, it'd be a one seat, but there's definitely none of this. The basic interior, no entertainment. I mean, you're not gonna want any entertainment when trying to wrestle control of this thing, are you? Uh, power steering, we're probably going to want. Um, I mean. So at the end of the day, none of this stuff here really matters, because this is not a vehicle that I am building in the hope of, you know, selling it anywhere. <laughs> so, it's not, it's not going to matter. We will give it the option to run to run those. No safety whatsoever. Let's face it, there is going to be no safety whatsoever. Uh, suspension, I mean, it's probably not going to go active. We'll go normal. We'll go, we'll go adaptive rather than full-on um, full active stuff. Uh, I guess we can set it up to be a little bit sporty. Drivability apparently is 80%. I'm going to hazard a guess. 
that that is not going to work. The car has strong understeer. Honestly, I think that might be safer. <laughs> not gonna lie. Strong understeer is probably a good idea uh, with this, but I mean the tyres tyres are the big I say the tyres the big thing. If we were to put that up to two six five, you'd probably cure uh, you cure a fair bit of the uh, of the understeer. Maybe we'll just go. Maybe we'll just balance it out a little, a little bit better. Uh, the car roll. I think the roll angle is probably going to be high on this, almost regardless of what I do. I'm not the best when it comes to tuning this stuff. I'm just going to have to. I'm going to sit here and hope that the car is that the thing is going to be controllable. You know, that's 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 the main aim of the game here is that hope that this is controllable. Hope that I can drive it. We have got semi slicks. You know, we've got the tires at a decent size. It looks quite funny. Uh, what does it reckon? <laughs> 0 to 60 to 4.4. That's not quite a supercar, but that's definitely scaring the crap out of almost every single current modern sports car, and 10-year-old supercars are starting to get worried by a lawnmower. Reckons top speed, we're going for 142. 142 miles an hour with our mad, mad lawnmower. Weighs 578 kilos. Entertainingly, I've had lighter cars in our autocross series. Admittedly, we haven't gone mad, mad with quality sliders and lightness, etc. But kind of quite funny. And where was the... I was going to have a look at what the miles a gallon it reckoned it was capable of doing. Just out of curiosity. Are we in here? Probably. Yeah, handling wheel spin quite a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, fuel economy, there we go. Uh, averaging, yeah, that's not too bad. You know, all things considered, 20 miles a gallon for one of my vehicles that is a turbo monster. It's not too shabby, really, all things considered and the like. <laughs> well, it's ready for a test. It's ready, it's ready for a test. Can we get... Can we actually get the 140? Can we get past that? Because sometimes automation's reckoning of top speed is different to what Beam will actually reckon the vehicle can do. We're going to give it a try. I'm slightly scared of this, I'm not going to lie. So, here is our terrifying lawnmower in a Beam NG drive, ready to try and go really quite fast. I'm not sure about controllability, let's be honest. I mean, as I said, it makes a pretty fun sound, but controllability is going to be uh, interesting. I think we're going to have to be careful with the accelerating. Uh, this, I have no doubt, could tear its wheels apart pretty easily, or tear its wheels off with vibrations. We've seen it happen on sort of madly built cars in the autocross series. This is a fairly madly built lawnmower, so I suspect this could easily pull its wheels off. Uh, this was not the road that I thought it was. We're off-roading. This is not where I meant to go, but I guess the lawnmower is going to be taken down a dirt path on semi-slick tyres. Uh, <laughs> Yes, all 300 horsepower of lawnmower is going to go rallying. I mean, it could be worse to drive. It could it could be worse to drive. Could be better, but it could be a lot worse, all things considered. Uh, yeah, we're going to be a little careful. I've got to kind of keep off the power for a fair bit of driving, I suspect, in this. I mean, it's doing 70 through the street. <laughs> it's not even a particularly large straight, and we're cracking 70 already. That's not where I want to go. How do I get onto the motorway as a normal vehicle rather than just cheat and spawn my way onto there. Uh, there's got to be a way onto the motorway. This is a no entry thing. Does this loop onto the motorway? Yeah, it loops onto the motorway. There's a little dirt path. I remember. It's been actually a while since I've farted around on this map. I do vaguely just about remember. Gonna get some sliding from the uh, from the mower. Here we go. Right. We are on to the motorway. We get to unleash all 300 horsepower. We are, it is moving around. We are wobbling a little bit. Frame rate is not so happy with this. We have beaten the Honda record as we go up into a sixth gear. We're up to 130, 140. It is still climbing in terms of speed. <laughs> it's 147 we hit and that is about, I think, all the aero has to give sadly on the mower we cannot quite go any faster uh whoa maybe we try and slow down now <laughs> slow down just slow down 
contr in a controlled manner, I think, is the way to go. And I'm pretty sure that's not it buzzing the limiter either, because I think it should it should rev. Yeah, it revs to eight and a half thousand, and it was about seven and a half thousand. We were out of out of oomph, and with a engine like this one, we do kind of need to be keeping the power fairly fairly high. You know, if we have longer gear ratios, it might actually struggle a little bit more. Uh, where do we smack the... I, I'm fairly sure it's an aero limit we're smacking with this. Yeah, it is. It's just below 8,000 RPM. We can't quite... Oh, we can't quite get the 150 mile an hour lawnmower. It's disappointing. I, mean, I say it's disappointing I'm doing 147 miles an hour in a lawnmower. That's not something to... Yeah, to be disappointed with. What happens if we crash at 147? <laughs> uh, I mean, the whale tail's about the only bit that survived. Not gonna lie. The engine went through the body and then out the... Well, like, bag at the back. The rear wheels are okay. The engine made it all... It didn't quite make it all the way to the bag at the back. It made it to... It's now a rear-engined lawnmower. I mean, it's a rear-everything lawnmower, let's be honest here. Uh, <laughs> So, 147 miles an hour we are capable of. What happens if we turn all of the electrical controls off? I figured it was a good idea to leave it on when there might be some vibration and shaking whoop, things with the vehicle. We've bent up the front now. Uh, yeah, the tyres, having sort of mega wide tyres, uh, semi slicks and so on, can cause some grief for cars. If it was all wheel drive, it could donut and tear its own wheels off, I have no doubt. I love how when we go on the brakes, the rear springs pop up out of. <laughs> uh, in fact, can we shatter its own wheels doing a rear wheel drive donut? It might be able to, you know. Let's just give it a quick test. Come on. Are you going to. Uh, the... Close to it. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's still clinging on somehow. Somehow it is still clinging on to life, that rear wheel. Fair enough. I mean, it would not be a comfortable ride in there, particularly. I mean, I'm sure I could build the suspension better. I'm sure the suspension could be built better. I kind of just stuck on whatever. Um, for the sake of trying to get it to 100 and, well, 50 and... It, well, not quite in this case. Um, yeah, probably isn't, isn't helping with the massive wheels. Yeah, it could be... It could be worse. It could be a lot worse to drive, all things considered. There are moments where it's almost like a normal vehicle. And I say almost. There are moments where it is almost like a normal vehicle. We can clear almost 100 miles an hour inside the city. Though in between jumps would probably... Emergency it probably will be at some point in this. We should get we should get ourselves familiar with the hospitals if you're going to have this. Because you're going to visit them... Well, hopefully more than one. Well, I would say hopefully more than once. Hopefully it's not a death on the first crash, basically. Uh, <laughs> bubbles and bubbles. Oh no! Oh dear! Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we appear to have done a silly thing. That gives me a thought. Was that just from the crash, or can it actually endo when braking? I mean, it has got big tyres on this. It's got very, very big tyres on this. And, well, I say very big tyres. It's got pretty sizable tyres. Very powerful brakes. Very sticky tyres. It's not quite enough to endo. I imagine there's quite a lot of weight over the front of this. Uh, with the right conditions... Yeah, with the right conditions it might. I mean, it does. the back will go fairly light when we do that. So, this is... Well, the new... Whoa! It fallen over. Oh, it's a proper Ferris motorsport vehicle. It falls over when going around corners. Properly, like prop when you go around a corner too hard on the mower, it does fall over. Although you've got to try and get, you've got to get everything right for it to occur. We could probably do an endo down there if we weren't careful. But it can fall over just while cornering normally, or you can get a slight snappy oversteery moment and get into trouble with it. Oh, that's a fire hydrant, and hey, <laughs> upside down. <laughs> it's silly. It's mad, and I love that there is a mod for a lawn mower to play around with in an automation. I highly, highly recommend that you give it a try. See what sort of mad speeds you can get out of the vehicle. Uh, see if you can get faster. Than, I'm sure you can go faster than 150 miles an hour. Maybe taking off the big whale tail, that might help, because they'll or reducing the aero bits from that maybe uh, might help get us a little bit more. Uh, the engine, I mean, you are going to be limited to a fairly small engine because you're putting it in a lawnmower, but you can still get very good power out of these tiny engines. We've seen it a lot in the 
uh, autocross course. I mean, hell, this is not this is not you know, this was fairly quickly put together. This engine, and we're still over 300 horsepower. That's a lot. That's a lot of horsepower in a little a little lightweight lawnmower. So. <laughs> Yeah, give it a try. I do very, very much recommend it. I shall link all the mods, of course, used in the description of this video so you can download them, have a go with them yourself. I'm going to nearly roll it off of another curb. But that is going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time. Oh, there we go. We have a proper satisfactory roll. A uh, yeah, goodbye.